cybersecurity in the industrial environment. Introduction to Computer Security The objective of this training unit is to know and distinguish the main concepts related to computer security in general. Distinguishing between the IT and OT areas of a factory and their specific needs. In this presentation we will see concepts related to cybersecurity and information security. When we enter the world of cybersecurity, we must ask ourselves questions to clarify concepts. Is information security the same as computer security? How do they relate to cybersecurity? What threats are lurking? What can we do to protect our facilities? What could be the best practices and technologies that we can implement? The answers to these questions will be developed in the following slides. Information security is the set of all those usage policies and measures that affect the treatment of stored data, whether from a company, institution or an individual. In this sense, information can be stored, processed or transmitted in different ways, in electronic format, verbally or through written or printed messages. Thus, Information security can consist of protecting a file cabinet of important paper documents, or protecting the database of a business organization or institution, to give a few examples. Computer security is the discipline that is responsible for protecting the integrity and privacy of information stored in the computer system against attacks by cyber criminals, whose objectives are to obtain profits from the acquired information or to access it. That is, the function of computer security consists of managing the risks related to the use, processing, storage and transmission of information or data, and with the systems and processes used in carrying out these activities. Cybersecurity is the defense of computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from unauthorized access, modification, and destruction. It is a general term for a group of related technologies and disciplines that help prevent unauthorized access to networks, systems, and data. Cybersecurity can be divided into three main categories. Risk analysis, detection and response, and protection. Risk analysis involves identifying potential risks to your organization's networks and systems so you can prioritize where to spend your cybersecurity budget. Detection involves monitoring activity on your network to detect any unauthorized activity or activity that may indicate a breach has occurred. Protection involves protecting your information systems from hacker attacks using a variety of methods, such as firewalls and intrusion detection systems, IDS. For organizations to succeed in an increasingly digital world, they must ensure their cybersecurity practices are robust enough to prevent. Identify and respond to cyber threats to keep data and networks safe. A good cybersecurity strategy should feature layers of protection to defend against cyber attacks that attempt, 
as we've seen, to access, change, or destroy data. Countermeasures should address Network security Security measures to protect a network of systems from intruders, including wired and wireless connections. Application security Processes that help protect applications running on premises and in the cloud. Security should be built into applications at the design stage. Taking into account how data is handled and user authentication, among other factors. Cloud security. Specifically, confidential computing that encrypts data in the cloud when it is at rest, in storage, in motion, while being transferred to and from the cloud. And during use, during processing, to support customer privacy, business requirements, and regulatory compliance standards. Information security, data protection measures, such as the General Data Protection Regulation, GDPR, protect most of your sensitive data from unauthorized access, exposure, or theft. End-user training. Raise security awareness across the organization to strengthen endpoint security. Business continuity, recovery planning after a cybersecurity incident, tools and procedures for restoring systems, rebooting computers and devices, backups, etc. The concept of cyber threats refers to those malicious activities that take place in a digital environment, whether on a desktop computer, laptop, mobile phone, tablet, etc. The objective of these cyber crimes is none other than to compromise the security of an information system by altering its availability integrity or confidentiality in order to use this information for lucrative and unethical purposes. Ransomware, which accounts for more than 10 terabytes of stolen data each month, is one of the biggest cyber threats in the EU. Phishing attacks are now considered the most common initial vector for such attacks. Distributed denial of service, DDoS, Attacks are also among the biggest threats. The annual cost of cybercrime to the global economy is estimated to have reached 5.5 trillion euros by the end of 2020. Double the figure in 2015. Russia's military aggression in Ukraine has reshaped the threat landscape in Europe in 2022. The conflict has mobilized numerous hacktivists, cybercriminals and state-sponsored groups. The following best practices and technologies can help an organization implement strong cybersecurity measures, which will reduce its vulnerability to cyber attacks and protect its critical information systems without intruding on the user or hindering the customer experience. Identity and Access Management IAM, defines roles and access privileges for each user, as well as the conditions under which the privileges are granted or granted. IAM methodologies include single sign-on, which allows a user to log into a network once without having to re-enter credentials during the same session, multi-factor authentication, which requires two or more access credentials, privileged user accounts, which grant administrative privileges only to certain users, and user lifecycle management, which manages each user's identity and access privileges from initial registration to deregistration. IAM tools can also give cybersecurity professionals greater visibility into suspicious activity on end-user devices, including endpoints they cannot physically access. This streamlines investigation and response to isolate and contain the damage from a breach. A comprehensive data security platform protects sensitive information across multiple environments, including cloud environments. The best data security platforms provide automated, real-time visibility into data vulnerabilities. 
as well as continuous monitoring that alerts on data vulnerabilities and risks before they become data breaches. They should also simplify compliance with industry and government-level data privacy regulations. Backups and encryption are also critical to ensuring data security. Security Information and Event Management SEAM, aggregates and analyzes security event data to automatically detect suspicious user activity and trigger a preventative or corrective response. Today's SEAM solutions include advanced detection methods such as user behavior analytics and artificial intelligence. I. SEAM can automatically prioritize cyber threat response in line with your organization's risk management goals. And many organizations are integrating their SEAM tools with security orchestration, automation, and response SOAR, platforms that automate and accelerate organizations' response to cybersecurity incidents, as well as resolve many incidents without human intervention.